All right, everyone, Supreme Kami over here, and today I'm gonna be trying on the EX skill for the newest Banshee over here. So we got the Army EX skill over here, we got the Armed Armor BS over here, as well as the Double Saber Rush over here. But um, in terms of what I want to be doing today, I will be doing a few testing. So first thing first, I will be doing a 100% cooldown reduction type build, just simply running the, uh, a few multi mission matches, and then simply trying out how the EX skill looks like, what kind of damage we can be expecting, and then what kind of consistency we can be getting and then up next I will be doing a few testing for you guys over here um, I think the first test that I want to do is uh, can this EX skill be stunned so we'll be using some EX skill that can stun like the Swabby Glaze Arm EX skill or not that one right is it that do I want to use that one no let me use the Rose Gundam so Arm EX skill I just want to show you guys can that even be stunned and then up next I'll probably be showing you guys um, uh, because in terms of this EX skill right here um, there is a little bit of a funny business. Um, I actually find out there is a little bit of a scaling in terms of damage output from your melee, raw melee attack stat as well. So I just want to kind of confirm that and just kind of see um, why, is it, not really why it's doing that, but show you guys like how, how is this happening. So uh, I think that is uh, going to be pretty much it. So um, this is going to be the build that we will be trying out first. This is going to be a full 100% cooldown reduction type build. And then we'll be right back as we do hop into a quick multi-mission matches over here. All right, so we are in. So this map does have a good consistent enemy base over here. So you guys can see that there is a cluster of enemies. So let me do, whoops, whoa, let me try not to get hit. Oh, <laughs> look at that. So this is exactly from the enemy over here. So, okay, this have a pretty wide range. Actually, it's not bad. Um, I didn't really see what kind of damage fluctuation we could be getting. Uh, so keep that in mind, this is going to be an Awakening with EXQ because you guys can see that um, the Unicorn was able to transform into the Destroy mode itself. So let me see. So I targeted one that is in front of me, so what kind of range are we getting? Oh, it does hit. Not bad. Okay, that's actually not bad, but I was not able to get the one that is directly below me. So that is a little bit unfortunate. So it should hit at this range. Yeah, I, I should have tried out what kind of range we are looking at. And it looks a very inconsistent in a way like there's not really like a set or is it like a set pattern i guess there is is it just doing like a triangle like how it is an enemy i guess you know so the goth is directly below me it hits and um so far i think damage is uh, pretty consistent right I, I can't really tell like you guys can definitely let me know um or you guys yeah i i saw like a 300 damage tick that was like out of nowhere like what where how, how am I doing like what six digit and then coming over here and doing like you, you, what what is what is that? What you guys saw that right like a three three hundred and four like what? Where when, when did we even get that like excuse me? So that's why this right here does lead to my assumption that this is basing off a little bit from your melee attack as well So we will actually try out like we'll, we'll, we'll actually text it up and just kind of be uh, Kind of reassure that it is like not a like a a false thing over here um so yeah so this is pretty much what we were expecting from each skill so this is directly from the scene where i don't i know from the uh, original unicorn ova this is like episode three or four uh, this is where maria cruz like came down to or came down from space to earth to find banaji links and she was like you know what let me bust out that one uh, mobile armor over here and then uh, there was the Banaji Lynx right there, so this is exactly recreating that um, exact scene right there. So that's why uh, I do actually like it, no, I'm not gonna lie. So this is gonna be the double saber rush, so not anything too fancy I would have to say. So that is gonna be pretty much it in terms of this portion. So now let me do hop into a few testing. So like I said again, I will be trying out if this EX skill can be stunned. And then we'll be trying out this this EX skill drive a little bit from attack, like from your melee attack. And then last but not least, I'll be trying out, uh, what was I gonna try out as well? Uh, I think that was pretty much it, right? Two testing, I think. I think that was it, right? So let me do hop in and then we will be back. All right, so this is what I am going to be using. So I am going to be using the Rose Screamer over here. So this is a very good stunning EX skill. So that's why I will do want to test does the Unicorn or the Banshee Arm have any um, iframe? Does it, can it actually block anything? And then we also do, oh, not this one, not what I meant to set. 
So I also do have the mace throw over here. So this is going to be from your big skip or Beto's the fourth one over here. So this one is simply going to be like a EX skill. So you're simply going to be throwing it like a EX skill or a, um, the, what do you call it? The mace up here. So I do want to try, can I actually hit the target when, uh, the Banshee is executing EX skill. So those are going to be some testing that we're doing. So in terms of the damage output, I will actually set everything to zero because i don't really want to like uh, simply i'm not really trying to test of damage so let me do actually set everything to zero first so we don't want to have um any damage going on right so we're gonna set all these to zero and then we'll hop right in all right so we are in so simply i am just gonna wait for banshee to execute the only exq that i equip on it's only going to be the army excuse so we just gotta patiently wait so I did already set to a thousand percent in terms of the reload rate. So it should be a fairly fast. Uh, okay. So let me see if I can No, So it looks like I don't think I even hit him at all. So there's not even like a knockback guy if I recall. So gonna have to wait for a little bit to recharge. And then we, yeah, because you guys can see that it actually does have a knockback. So that's why um, Bashi was intact from that. So now we can use the Rosa Screamer over here. So I think I got this. I, ooh, okay. So nothing can beat the Rose Screamer over here. So you guys can see that um, it's not really invisible. But I do remember I did get hit. You guys can see I did I did get knocked a little bit. Did, did uh, have like a little bit of a tad damage over there. So it just looks like the first hit it is going to hit me like, yeah, right there. I am going to still get hit. So that is uh, definitely a little bit unfortunate. So that is pretty much what I want to try things out right here. I uh, simply just want to try it if I can even like if the EX skill is invincible. So that is going to be pretty much it in terms of this uh, testing over here. Okay, so this is uh, what we are setting up right here. So I have only uh, 2875 melee attacks. So why are we even setting that? Because what we want to try things out is um, supposedly this is going to be like a exclusively um, shot based EX skill like the description has said, uh, beam shot. So ideally we should not even be doing any melee attack, right? So what we want to prove is uh, since I do have a 2800 uh, melee attack up here, if we can do any single damage over here, so this one will prove that it is a little bit of a mixed damage into this EX skill. So that's uh, what we are trying to find out. So I don't have any parts set right here, uh, and then simply I have it as a skin and then I set the melee attack gear to the 2500 right there so that is gonna be it and then in terms of the enemy what I have said uh, I said fairly similar things as well so I believe I only set my enemy to only having armor of the uh, of like the armor gear so that's what we are gonna be trying out as well so let me do hop in and see how that goes all right so we are in once again so simply what we are trying to prove can we actually do any real damage with you know supposedly this is like a shot based ex skill with only uh with zero so i should not be doing any shot damage um so let's try this out so let's see oh yeah yep <laughs> right there so it looks like that in terms of the damage it lists a little bit you know coming out of your melee attack so so that is actually quite strange i don't i don't, I don't get it like this one you have this one is obviously doing it so from this test right here you guys can see that it is actually dry like uh, dry from a little bit of your melee attack so that is definitely quite strange to be honest so yeah this is why the EX skill has a little bit of a funny business i gotta say so i think the last one at least i'll actually try what kind of actual main like what, what kind of actual output we can actually get so i will equip this onto my regular uh, shooting base build and then i'm just gonna uh, quickly hop into a frame match and see what kind of damage we could be doing an all treated version all right so we hop into a quick friend match up here so let me do activate the limit break and see what we can actually do activate that and then go okay so going to hmm it's actually not bad i think the output is actually quite satisfiable i, I will have to say all right so with that being said that is uh, going to be pretty much it in terms of e skill testing 
for the tech attribute um, banshee over here so do let me know how do you guys feel about the army geek skill over here do you guys like it do you guys like the fact that they actually recreate that move directly from the enemy but in terms of the damage i put um you guys can definitely let me know do you guys find it uh, very inconsistent um you guys see some big number like a big damage i put and then you guys see some like minuscule one that we have seen in the, this video up here so you guys can definitely let me know that in the down in the comment section below but with that being said that is going to be pretty much it with the testing and then i'll catch you guys all on the next one